It's important to understand the big picture. Our main focus with our team has been on the moment. Being, being in the moment for every game, taking what you've learned in the last game and then carrying it over for the next game. And for us, it's the things we want to accomplish in the big picture will happen if we do what we have to in the short term. So that's how we've approached it. Our guys have been all in on our moment. Uh, while still understanding, like we have work to do to be in the tournament. We have work to do to become the team that we want to be in order to be successful when it comes time where it's one and done, starting in the ACC tournament. Very excited on this week to have Kara Lawson, our head women's basketball coach at Duke. Kara, this is her third year, having an incredible season. Uh, over 20 wins now, first place in the ACC, uh, top 10 ranking. Congrats on the year so far. I know you have, we were just talking, the job's not done, a lot of work to go, uh, a lot of work to do, I should say. But how are you feeling about your team this year? I've been really pleased with, with our team this year. Um, you know, one thing I'll say about them is they, they fight and they really guard. Um, and defensively, we thought coming in this year, you know, honestly, that was a big weakness for us last year. I didn't think we were a good defensive team. And that was on me and that was on our coaching staff. Um, and so we, we really dedicated ourselves in the offseason, watching film, coming up with um, a defensive scheme that we felt fit our personnel and could, could really help us win games. And, and the, the players have followed through with that and um, have won in some tough environments. And, um, you know, we're pleased to be where we are, but it, you know how it is. I mean, no one game can, can change it. And so we're, we're hopeful that we can just keep playing with that effort. Well, you, you talked about the defense. Talk about specifically what changes you made or what, you know, you didn't like from last year to really make it up to this point where you've had one of the stingiest defenses in the country. The biggest change that we made was to be more disruptive and to dictate more. I thought last year we were more of a reactive defense and more of a protective defense instead of really putting pressure on people. Mm -hmm. And the players in this league, the teams in this league, if you just sit back there and let them pick you apart, they will. Right. Um, so we, we made some changes with that. The other thing that we introduced was a lot more full court pressure. Right. And so if you watch us play, you'll see us pressing pretty That's much the whole game. Um, it's not gamble, go for everything type of pressure. It's just a pressure to take the temperature of the other team and see if they, they can handle it. And um, I, I would say those are probably the, the two biggest um, just mindset changes, not even like right. scheme changes, but just right. like, hey, let's get after people. Let's really be disruptive. All right, so let's talk about year three. You get hired during the pandemic where your press conference was over Zoom, Yes. right? Mm -hmm. So it's obviously that's a tough adjustment. Talk about the progress from the beginning of taking over during a challenging time to now where, you know, what your team is doing, but also building the program. There's certainly a lot, a lot to navigate, um, not just for a first year coach, any coach during that time, it was, it was challenging. Um, we, we only played four games that first season. Um, and then we've had a lot of turnover in our roster, um, quite frankly, the two years after that, whether that was through graduation, through transfers, obviously uh, the rules changed that year too. Right. So you could now have immediate eligibility <laughs> right. on transfers. You could, everyone got COVID years yeah. in the middle of that year. So my first Literally, year, the, world is changing. the whole thing changed. Yeah. The whole, the whole thing changed. world, yeah. yeah. So when I took the job, you know, the, the landscape was one way. And then when I got into the job within six months, all of that changed. And so um, I, I had experienced assistants around me, which really helped. Um, and that's helped me the whole time, to be quite frank. Um, they had navigated certain things before. They had a great baseline of who players were and a great foundation in terms of recruiting. And then it was just finding players that were really passionate about the game and want to get better and that love competing. I think that's, that's, like the, that's the baseline for us is uh, we want players that really love to compete, love, passionate about getting better, want to improve. And if you find that, if you're lucky enough to find an, uh, enough of them, um, I think you can do some special things. So um, this group to this point is, is playing um, the way that I always envisioned. Um, I can't say I, I thought uh, that year three was gonna be the year that it happened, 
Um, I really don't try to put timelines on things because right. then I think you, you marry yourself to like, oh, well, we don't have to be good until then. It's like, no, let's be good now. That's right. Let's be good as quickly as we can be. And um, we, we, we've brought in a lot of talented players that fit us. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade and our commitment to fuel tomorrow. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. With zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. I need to try it first. Yeah. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep, tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah, road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental, welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. At Therabody, we believe that everybody deserves a chance to keep going, keep dancing, keep celebrating, and reuniting. It's never too late to rise. You got that fire in you. It's never too late to rise. Because everybody is a therabody. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready Big Bow Box. I need to try it first. Yeah. Obviously, you've played at the highest of levels, and how much of the way that you have your team playing fits what your identity was as a player. I'll tell a quick backstory. We actually had uh, a recruit visiting recently. I can't say the person's name there because <laughs> of how the rules go. Yeah. But the mom said, you know, I actually played against Carol Lawson in high school, and she just went off on me. <laughs> and so she said it was the biggest deal in the world playing against you. This is back in high school, uh, but obviously your professional career, college career, what would you say you take from your playing experience to translate to coaching? Well, I, I would say this. Um, I don't know that I would be good in my system. <laughs> I like the offensive Why side of the ball that? very yeah. much. That's right. And I yeah. like to shoot threes. Yeah. And, well, you like and, and so shooting threes now as a coach, I do. Though. I yeah. do. I like shooting threes now. So uh, I don't know that I would have played myself uh, <laughs> a lot as a player. But I will say this about myself as a player. Um, I really struggled on the defensive end my freshman year, and you know this, like, it's, it's hard. I mean, you, hard. You, have, you have a lot of freshmen, and we have freshmen, and getting that end of the floor right is, is, can take the whole year, right. or close to the whole year. It's just hard, and so um, I struggled with that my freshman year, and, um, you know, I, I had a pretty even minutes, but I would get taken out sometimes mm -hmm. because I wasn't playing my role on the defensive end that, at the level Coach Summit wanted me to play. Right. And so I do kind of have to chuckle a little bit. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of practice and I'm yelling at somebody for not doing it. I'm like, you're such a hypocrite, man. <laughs> Your college self would, would right. be doing the same things. Right. Um, so I think how I played was a, is a little different. Now, how we played at Tennessee is very similar in terms of, of what we do here at Duke. Um, defense was the priority, defense and rebounding. Yeah. That's what wins. And, and so, um, you know, we did a lot of winning at Tennessee, and mm -hmm. I, my goal is to do a lot of winning That's here. Right. And so uh, I'm, I'm not that dumb. I, I, know, I know what I was taught and what won, and so that's what we try to put the focus on. Yeah, well, you mentioned Coach Summit. I was fortunate to play for Coach K, two of the great coaches, really, in 
regardless of sport. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest lessons you've learned from her and how you try to honor her moving forward with her legacy and tree of coaching and playing? Most of what I do and how I run my program is influenced in some way from Coach Summit, even though she's no longer with us, and even though she wasn't alive when I became a coach. Mm -hmm. um, but I went to the University of Tennessee to play for her because I wanted to coach. And so I thought, well, if you want to coach, why not go play for the best coach? Right. That makes sense. So I went there. And there are a couple things that, um, I, that are really, really um, come up in our, in our job all the time for me. The, the first is accountability and being accountable. As a coach, you gotta be accountable mm -hmm. for your players, for your team, for your staff. And, and, and then everyone in your program has to be accountable too for their role in mm -hmm. it. You know, my players, each of them are accountable to bring their best self every day. And in the games, they're accountable for their performances. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we talk a lot about that, like owning your mistakes and owning them right away. Right. If you make a mistake, they're gonna happen, but like don't try and explain it away right. or say he should have done that or she like own them and then let's get to fixing them. Right. So I take that from her as well. And, and the second thing, um, I, I'll tell a story about her. My freshman year, I told you I wasn't doing very well on the defensive mm -hmm. end. And I'll never forget uh, after the season, Coach Summit brought me in her office and, and um, we talked about defense. And you know, honestly, I just wasn't taking it as seriously as I should have. I mean, I might've been the second or third leading scorer on the mm -hmm, team as right. a freshman and first team all league as a freshman. Like yeah. I had good stuff to, to mm -hmm. what I was doing. And um, she said, uh, you know, they, um, they asked me about voting for you for All-American. And I said, heck no, she's not an All-American because you don't play both sides of the mm -hmm. ball. She said, Kara, the one thing you got to understand about me is I will never lie for you. Right. I will never tell somebody you're good at something. Like when the WNBA coaches come to me and say, right. hey, can she do this, this, and this? If you can't do it, I'm not telling them that because right. that's my, not my word and my integrity on it. And that always stuck with me. And that's something I share with some of my players when we reach that point in their yeah. career is like, I'm not going to lie for you. Yeah. you. You have to be good at something for me to put that stamp on you that you're yeah. ready. And, and I think honesty and transparency and coaching, coaching is really important Huge. with your players. Huge. Yeah. Well, it's, I have to ask this before, you know, I'll let you go, but can you still play? Do you, do you still play ever? Do you ever get out there and shoot and get out there with your, with your players? And do you play still? I, I don't play any, anymore. You're smarter um, than I am. It's, I get out there occasionally. Well, and still. also older. You're, you're being kind. I'm smarter and older. But I did the first year. Yeah. I did practice yeah. some the first year and get out there with them. And then after that, I said, okay, you, you, you got it. And how did it, it yeah. feel when you're out there? Did well, you, yeah. well, they couldn't guard me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, not saying they, they couldn't guard me. But uh, now I will do shooting games with them. Yeah. So I will do horse or different. Yeah. Can you make this? Can you make What do you that? think your record is? Undefeated. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. You're undefeated? Oh, yeah. I, right. Not in three years. Would you, if I asked yeah. any of your players, they would say the same? Uh, on camera, okay. maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely privately, they say, yeah, I haven't lost yet. <laughs> All right, I love it. I love it. Well, thanks for spending some time and pulling for you guys like crazy. And uh, let's have a great end of the year. Let's do it. All thanks, right. John. Perfect. Thanks, Gary. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh, you've got a lawyer. This conversation is over. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. People have trusted Reeves Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reeves Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Behind every journey is the road that got you there, and your Carolina Ford dealer is there for every mile. That's what it means to be true blue. From offering great deals on our selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs in stock and ready for delivery, to picking up and returning your vehicle for service at your convenience, that's how we help you become true blue. Now get 0% financing for 36 months on select Ford vehicles, plus take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers only at your Carolina Ford dealer.
Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Roach defended by Nance, goes by him, and widely the follow. Timeout, Carolina. And he gets another rebound and a huge bucket to put Duke up 59-57. His presence in this game has been game-changing for Duke. Dancing, drives on Nance, off the window, no, lively to clean it up! Throw it down! Duke by two, 132 to go! And a timeout taken by the Tar Heels! Derek has grown leaps and bounds this year. He has improved really in every facet. Uh, the work that he's done with our strength and conditioning team and with coach Will Stevens, he's gotten a lot stronger. His base, his just natural overall strength, it's allowed him to play through contact. Uh, the work every day from a player development side with Emil Jefferson uh, has been huge. And then just to see his confidence grow with his game, being able to play without following, he's been one of the best rim protectors in the country. He's been one of the best bigs is switching out and defending perimeter players. So his versatility is huge. We need to continue to learn how to use him on offense where he's open for some things. He, he, he needs his teammates to get him open looks and we can do a better job of helping him do that. We're really proud of him, how he's grown and you know, especially down the stretch here, I think his best basketball is gonna happen in the last weeks of the season. the drive. Left hand and it's good. Passes and Woche just slips out of it and that opened up that drive for Jeremy Roach. Nobody there to step in either to take the charge or try to block the shot. Really good call out of the timeout by John Shire to essentially isolate Jeremy Roach. That's Roach. Jeremy on the drive all the way in. Off the window for two. The catch in the display 63 to 57 the final Jeremy Roach had 20 they held the Tar Heels without a point for the final 357 Derek Lively on the paint 14 rebounds here tonight to go along with eight block shots and Duke scores the final six points of the game to take it 63 to 57 the North Carolina game was a big step for our team, being able to put back-to-back -back performances together. You know, we, that was our third win in a row. You're playing against a team that's, you know, one of the best rebounding teams in our league. And we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and obviously beyond toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And what the job that Derek Lively did, when you see the work that he puts in every single morning with Emil Jefferson, and then to see it pay off in a game, that's, that's a big deal. And our guys, they had strong faces, they were tough, they were together, and that's why we got the win. So, you know, it's once you do that, now we need to figure out how you can do that every single time out. As a young group, it takes more energy, it takes more focus, you're gonna see different adversity. That's what I've learned though from our group. Like we have it in us, we just have to continue to learn and, and to do it every day. It to Lively to dunk it down. Grandison wants to drive at the free throw line. Oh, nice pocket pass to Young to lay it in. Wilkowski does offensively on the drive inside. He goes, kicks out for a Grandison three. Good, and boy, they needed that. Grandison can't shoot. Inside, Young catches, goes up and lays it in. Thinking about another one. Instead, he'll drive. Lob it to Lively. Put that thing down. Well, for us, it's really important that we play inside out. And what inside out means for us is that we get paint touches. You know, we have one of the best scorers in the ACC in Kyle Filipowski, and he's really dangerous down low. Ryan Young has been a guy we can throw the ball to in the post. Derek, of course, uh, lobs in different ways and, and posting at times. And then for us, we have downhill drivers. So the percentage that we shoot, the percentage of efficiency of our scoring 
when we do get a paint touch, whether it's uh, a post touch, an offensive rebound, or a drive, our percentage goes way up. So that's something that we have to do different ways. Teams are obviously trying to keep us out of the paint, but when we play that way, uh, we're, we're an explosive team and really hard to defend. stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. I wanted to work with a supplier partner I respect. I wanted a partner who respected me. We needed a partner with employees who care as much as we do. We needed a partner who values relationships. I wanted a partner that would help me grow my business. We needed a partner that would help us succeed. SRS Distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers customer success. There's a reason every Odyssey is named after the Odyssey. Because the world's most famous story isn't about staying put. It's about being there. So for those who want a story to tell, we have a world full of places to start. Behind every journey is the road that got you there. And your Carolina Ford dealer is there for every mile. That's what it means to be true blue. From offering great deals on our selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs in stock and ready for delivery, to picking up and returning your vehicle for service at your convenience. That's how we help you become true blue. Now get 0% financing for 36 months on select Ford vehicles. Plus take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers only at your Carolina Ford dealer. We coming hard, we coming fast Get out the way or get caught up in the blast We coming hard, we coming fast Get out the way or get caught up in the blast We coming hard into battle Thought they were strong but they rattled like an avalanche We advance, lights go out like a shadow Soon as it starts then it's over Round of applause for the close of the opposers Know exactly who we are has two on one with Roach give it to Roach flying in off the window counted it a foul and way to share the basketball two Blue Devils for me the biggest thing that I've learned is you know our group has to be in certain experiences to understand what it takes and we have a group of fighters we have a group of winners and they've persevered all year long that doesn't mean they're perfect it doesn't mean we're perfect but that's, that's what I've learned about them. Anytime something's happened, we've had a great response. And so that's where our focus and energy is gonna go. It will continue to go. Uh, whether you win or whether you lose, you have to move on and, and respond. Young, a free pass. Looking at midcourt, they're trying to get Roach open. A chest pass is stolen by Couture, and that'll do it. The Hokies knock off the Blue Devils 78 to 75. And Miami brings it across midcourt. 
A convincing win for the Hurricanes tonight as the Blue Devils fall on the road 81 to 59. We've had a couple of Saturday Monday games now and it's really quick to turn around emotionally, physically, and you know our group didn't have the best performance against Miami coming off a great win at home against North Carolina. Uh, you know, we had the same experience playing Miami the first time. We played Miami, then on the road at Virginia Tech, lost a very tough one there. Anytime you play in a different situation, you you grow. And it wasn't the result we wanted. Have to learn from it again. And our guys were uh, really disappointed with the outcome. And you know we have to use it to grow and continue to build. Pack fighting over Young on the right, lobbed it up top, hit the rim, trying to find Omir and Filipowski out there with the loose basketball. Across midcourt, a bounce pass for Young, down the lane, and he got it to go. Went for the dunk and turned into a two-handed layup. Worked either way, and they're back with a 12. 36-24, one minute to go in the half. One of the things we've had a hard time making the jump in is when we get down in the game. And it's not about wanting to. Like, we, wanna, we wanted to get back in the Miami game. It's understanding how to do that. And you really have to trust your, your habits, your fundamentals, Valuing the ball has been a big thing for us. We have to do a better job. And then obviously we've been a team all year round. If you look at how we've won games, we've won games by getting loose balls and rebounds. And we didn't do that and that has to be who our identity is every time, every time out uh, with no exceptions. Mitchell on the drive, long, fell down, all the way in, took some contact, flipped it up and in. Mark Mitchell, a strong move and he'll have a chance for three. We're going to see some stingy defense against us. And, you know, it's, it's having the aggressiveness to attack on offense while also having poise if something's not there right away. So knowing how, how are we going to get to the second action of our offense? How are we going to get the ball in the paint and still have the poise to finish through contact and uh, resistance? That's for us a huge piece. And then defensively, just being the same way every time. We've had a really solid defense all year round. You're not going to have a great defense if you're giving up layups and dunks in transition by turning the ball over. So that's a big key for us to build on and to grow.